Uh, greetings, math fans. All right, so this is day nine, and we learned uh, in yesterday's notes we learned how to do the power rule. Okay, and that was actually uh, pretty handy. When we're doing the power rule, uh, saves us a lot of time than using limits. But obviously, if I say use the definition of the derivative, the definition of the derivative is using limits as h approaches zero. Okay, got to remember that. All right, so what I want to talk about today is something um, called the product rule. And real quickly, the product rule is or the derivative of the product is not the product of the derivative. Okay, that's important. And the reason I want to show you that is if I do d by dx of x times x, right, that's not the same as d by dx of x times d by dx of x. Because think about it, what's d by dx, what's derivative of x? It's just 1, and the other one is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. Okay, that's good, but it's not equal to that. Okay, and just think, we already know how to do that. d by dx of x squared, isn't that what x is? Well, isn't that 2x? Okay, so let's actually come up with the derivative. Um, so let's write this out here again. Product rule. And let me first do it mathematically. d by dx of uv is equal to u dv dx plus v du dx. I'm going to say it in English now, which you might think I said it in English, but I think it's a lot easier to remember that, because I personally don't remember a formula. I'm much better at uh, remembering some concept behind it. Um, but it's uh, the first times the derivative of the second. plus second times the derivative of the first. Okay, so that's exactly what um, what that product rule says. So let's try this on uh, x squared. So if I do d by dx of x squared, okay, we already know it's 2x. I'm just going to put this 2x over here. We already know that. But let's break it up and let's do d by dx of x times x. Okay, just show that it's going to work. So it's the first times the root of the second, which is 1, plus the second, which is x, times the root of the first, which is 1. So you have x plus x. Hey, all right, it's 2x, all right, so pretty reasonable. So let's try a nice uh, little friendly example here. If I give you y is equal to 4x squared plus 5 times 3x to the fifth minus 8, okay, and so dy dx, derivative of y with respect to x, is the first times derivative of the second, which is 15x to the fourth, plus the second, so 3x to the fifth minus 8, times the root of the first, which is 8x. Okay, and if I multiply that out, I get uh, 60x to the sixth, plus 75x to the fourth, plus 24x to the sixth, minus 64x. And combine like terms, you wind up getting 84x to the 6th plus 75x to the 4th minus 64x. Okay, that's it. That's dy dx. Pretty easy. All right, so let's do the quotient rule. And here it is in math format. d by dx 
of u over v. And that's going to be v du dx minus u dv dx all over v squared. All right, so let's say it in English. Because again, this is the way I remember it. It's the bottom times the derivative of the top minus the top times the derivative of the bottom all over the bottom squared. All right, so let's just test this out real quickly. Do by dx of, we're going to do x cubed over x. Well, you already know it's the same thing as d by dx of 2x, right? x cubed over x is 2x, and the derivative comes out to be, uh, well, we said 2x. So it's, it's d by dx of x squared, which is 2x. All right, so let's use the uh, quotient rule and see if it works. Uh, bottom times the root of the pot, top, which is 3x squared, minus the top times the root of the bottom, all over the bottom squared. So I simplify that, and I get 3x cubed minus x cubed over x squared. That's 3x cubed minus x cubed is 2x cubed over x squared. And that gives us, oh my gosh, unbelievable. Gives us 2x. Okay, I better give us 2x. Now, kind of a weird way to remember, I try to give you guys weird ways to remember things, because um, uh, you have to remember it's the bottom first, the bottom times the root of the top minus the top times the root of the bottom all over the bottom squared. Think of it as the corporate ladder. Okay, um, it's the bottom times the root of the top, so you always start from the bottom, right? Whenever you join a company, for most people, you start at the bottom and you work your way up. So you start at the bottom, that's why the bottom's first. Bottom times root of the top minus the top times root of the bottom. Just remember it's a subtraction sign with division and an addition sign with uh, multiplication with the product rule. Okay, and then it's all over the bottom squared and uh, I don't know how you remember that. Just think of there are lots more people at the bottom uh, in a corporation. There's like only uh, one CEO on top, but there's a lot of people in the bottom. So that's why you square the bottom because there's more people. Yeah, sounds reasonable. Um, all right, so let's do a nice little friendly example here. If I give you y is equal to 5x plus 2 over 3x minus 7. So dy dx is equal to bottom times root of the top minus the top times root of the bottom all over the bottom squared. So I'm going to simplify the top. I get 15x minus 35 minus 15x minus 6 all over 3x minus 7 quantity squared. And guys, you don't need to square that in the bottom. Okay, it's just going to make it more ugly when you actually square it and then have terms because the terms, you know, a few terms are going to be combined, but this is definitely a, the simplest form here. And kind of remember that even in the AP exam, they're not really going to look for a certain form and mark it wrong if you don't have it. If, if they may ask you for a certain form, that's fine, then you give it to them. But otherwise, uh, they're just going to say solve this or find the derivative and you can leave it in whatever form you want. Um, and but what happens if you try to put it into a certain form, you get it wrong, they'll take a point off for that. They'll look back at your work and they'll go, oh, you got all the right work, but gee, it's not, it's in a different form, but it's a wrong answer. Maybe you didn't multiply something right or add something, whatever, and you'll lose a point off of that. Not a lot, but you'll lose something. So just be really careful with your answers. All right, anyway, I can simplify this um, yet. Uh, 15 x's cancel, and we get negative 41 over 3x minus 7 quantity squared. That's dy dx. Okay, so that's not too shabby. All right, let's try another one here. It's got a little bit more to it. Uh, y is equal to x minus 2 times uh, x plus 5 over x minus 3 
x plus 2. All right, so the deal is I think you want to distribute the top and the bottom. You want to do that first. All right, and we'll learn something later on, um, something called the chain rule. I'm not going to use it quite yet. That's actually chapter 3B. But just think about it. If I actually did, um, you know, didn't distribute, I would say bottom times derivative of the top. Well, when I do the derivative of the top, now I got the product rule, and I have to actually apply the product rule whenever I take the derivative of the top or the bottom. So I'm kind of alleviating, alleviating uh, taking more derivatives. So if I rewrite this, I get uh, x squared plus 3x minus 10 all over x squared minus x minus 6. Okay, and then dy dx is equal to uh, the bottom times the root of the top, which is 2x plus 3, minus the top times the root of the bottom, which is 2x minus 1, all over the bottom squared. Okay, the top you can simplify because you have addition and subtraction between those terms. Bottom, leave it alone. Okay, don't do anything with it. And if I multiply that whole top out, it's, it's a very large problem. But it's really all algebra. So dy dx is, uh, you wind up getting uh, 2x cubed minus 2x squared minus 12x plus 3x squared minus 3x minus 18. Um, and then we keep going here because we're going to subtract that next group. So I'm going to distribute the negative already. I'm going to get minus 2x cubed minus 6x squared plus 20x plus x squared plus 3x minus 10. Woo! Hope you had enough room in your paper, math fans. All over x squared minus x minus 6 squared. Okay, and basically it's just combining a lot of terms, canceling things out, and you wind up after simplifying it all, you get negative 4x squared plus 8x minus 28 over x squared minus x minus 6 squared. And that's it. Kind of brutal, but uh, that's what it is. All right. Uh, let's do uh, one more example here. So y equals x cubed over x squared plus 2. Okay, so this is pretty mellow. dy dx bottom times root of the top minus top times root of the bottom, just 2x, right? All over the bottom squared. Okay, so if I distribute that out, I get 3x to the fourth plus 6x squared uh, minus 2x to the fourth over x squared plus 2 squared. So dy dx is equal to x to the fourth, combining like terms, plus 6x squared over x to the fourth plus 2 squared. Okay, and I know it looks like maybe it's not simplified, but it is actually simplified, right? And I know you might say, well, gee, can I factor something out of the top? Well, don't factor anything out. Simplified. Just leave it like that. Okay, it's like you don't do anything with the bottom either. You don't, you know, square it and foil everything out. It gets kind of brutal after a while. All right. Um, okay, so here's another type of problem you guys can have. Here's another example. Uh, U and V are functions. Of, uh, of x of x that are differentiable at x equals 3. And I'm going to give you some information. U of 3 is equal to 4. U prime of 3 
is equal to 2, v of 3 is equal to negative 2, v prime of 3 is equal to 6. So this is the deal, math fans. I want you to find d by dx of uv first. Okay, that's just the product rule, and it's, of course, the first times the root of the second, so it's equal to the first, which is u of 3, times the root of the second, which is uh, v prime of 3, which is 6, plus the second, which is negative 2, which is v of 3, times the root of the first, which is uh, u, sub u prime of 3, which is 2. Okay, so that's pretty easy, so you get 24 minus 4 is 20. That's the answer to that problem. Okay, the next one is find d by dx of u over v. Okay, no big deal. So we get uh, the bottom, which is v, times the derivative of the top, which is 2, minus the top, which is 4, times the root of the bottom, which is 6 all over the bottom squared, which is negative 2 squared. So you want to get a negative 4 minus 24 over 4, or negative 28 over 4, which is negative 7. That's your answer. Okay, not too bad. Okay, last kind of problem that uh, I want you guys to be able to identify is if I gave you, uh, this is for your homework. Um, first of all, a reminder here, that the first derivative is the slope of the tangent line. Don't forget that. Slope. Alright, one more example, math fans. If a is equal to bc minus d e squared over cd, and I ask you to find da de. If you're finding it with respect to e, math fans, e is your variable. And b, c, d are constants. Okay? So let's do it. It's uh, d, a, d, e. It's at the bottom, which is c, d, times the derivative of the top. Well, what is the derivative of b, c? Isn't it zero? So truly, you just have this being the top. And what's the derivative of that? If x, if like e is a, an x, you would say x squared, you bring the 2 in front, and then it'll be 1 less. So it's going to be negative 2, right? The 2 goes in front. Uh, negative 2 dE to the first power, or negative 2 dE. Minus the top, which is bc minus dE squared, times the derivative of the bottom. Okay, well, what's the derivative of CD if it's a constant? Oh, zero. That's pretty sweet. All over the bottom squared. So this is really out of there. And you wind up just getting a CD. Well, doesn't a CD cancel with this squared? So you really get negative 2 DE over CD. The Ds cancel. And so my um, DA DE is equal to negative 2 E over C. Okay, so that's uh, just kind of make sure you're careful with that problem um, and realize what is the variable and what is a constant. Obviously, it's dA dE, which is uh, derivative of A with respect to E. So E is your variable. Okay, anyway, that's it, math fans. Hope you guys learned a little bit about uh, product and quotient rule. Adios, amigos. Goodbye.